Todd from uh, Wood Turning Tool Store here. Um, just wanted to invite you back in and watch a, a quick little video. I say quick now, but uh, once I get to the editing room, who knows? I try and make them, you know, uh, reasonable length, the uh, things that I'd want to sit through as well. So hopefully I meet that mark. And uh, um, I hope you like the video. If you do, please hit the like button, uh, subscribe, and uh, um, send any comments my way if you have any. I'd love to hear what you. Uh, what you think of my videos, what you would like me to see. I'm mostly focused on sort of project stuff and along the way explaining what I'm doing. So uh, if there's something, uh, technique or turning tip that you'd like to hear about or hear uh, more about that I show, let me know uh, in the comments and stuff. I'd be happy to answer them and stuff like that. So uh, today, uh, even though it's you know a couple days before Halloween and and then Veterans Day is coming up, and then obviously Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, being new to this, I don't, I'm not set in those themes yet, and uh, uh, so I'll get there eventually. I'll try and turn something for the Christmas theme and stuff like that. But my wife really got enthralled with these little uh, little bud vases. Uh, uh, the gentleman at uh, the SWAT show that turned one for my wife, uh, and so I turned another one, and uh, it's got a little flower in here. It's big enough to uh, use these little little. Um, Test tubes if you want to fit them in there. So I'm going to turn another one of these today and, and uh, watch along, and uh, it should be relatively quick. They're pretty simple project, uh, spindle work. So let's enjoy. Okay, so um, here we are. We can, can see, well, we couldn't see, but uh, the, the blank isn't that straight, so I have to cut a tenon on this end uh, to stick it in the chuck. So clearing up the end with the roughing gouge and parting tool, and now using my pointy. Uh, spindle gouge. I use this on bowls a lot, creating dovetail tenons, and it works well. Just trimming the tenon end so it fits in there, and now we're remounted. Pull up the uh, the cone center and uh, rough out the blank to round. So just wasting wood away here, and uh, I don't need the whole blank uh, for this project. So uh, um, you know we'll uh, we'll use. I think they're about four and a half inches tall thereabouts. So. It's a nice piece of curly maple I got here. It's uh, you'll see it in the end or when I get the finish on. It's uh, it's it's pretty. So here's the uh, the template, marking out where the transition point is, the skinniest point, the fattest point, and the bottom. Okay, here we've got the uh, drill, and we're just using the uh, the markings we made to set the drill depth, trimming off the end, and making a little divot in the end and mounting the drill bit. I uh, got my drill bit a little cockeyed in the in the chuck and mounted it, remounted it. Now we're drilling in. Use my brush to clear shavings off the bit and uh, down to depth three and a quarter inches. The, the test tube's three inches long so three and a quarter it seemed to work. Um, now uh, setting up to uh, to shape a little uh, half inch spindle gouge. Oh, sorry this is uh, uh, the little uh, three quarter inch uh, skew um, just clearing and, and doing a bunch of uh, peeling cuts. Now I've got the little half inch spindle gouge and starting to do the shape. Um, I had another camera angle on this but uh, I, it didn't work out. I had the focus wrong so um, yeah, this will, you'll see I'll zoom in here. Um, so I've got sort of the, the, the basic neck shape and now I'm working on the bulbous end and trying to make that a nice flowing curve. Great little spindle gouge. I, I really like this one using a lot more um, and just kind of refining and refining as we go and you know making sure I've got the shape I want it's important to get a nice flowing curve through all these uh, um, rounded uh, you know basically uh, beads uh, beads and cove that flow nicely together uh, look nice so just doing a bit of scraping action action here to uh, clean up the, the little tool marks I had and now getting into the bottom here using a parting tool to start cutting and, and I cut this uh, bottom end down to about a quarter quarter inch tenon uh, just so I know where the bottom's at so I can get through and and sand everything. Now we're sanding, I'll, I'll not bore you with sanding, just sanding. So This is a uh, vinyl sealer cut with uh, lacquer thinner and uh, just using it to seal the wood. You can see the figure now decided to dye this one because uh, the two other ones are just plain wood so my wife, my wife likes red so 
you're using a bit of red and then uh, highlighting the, uh, the figure with a bit of yellow. So these are just uh, alcohol based uh, dyes, uh, buffing that out, blending uh, back some red and then uh, you know just till it looks good and uh, get, this, get the marks out and I use the uh, scotch bright pads to uh, uh, or 3M scotch pads to uh, buff it out and lacquer, several coats of lacquer, several, I, I cut it back a couple of times. I actually got the heat gun out here in a little bit and, uh, and decided to speed things up with the lacquer drying so uh, that helped a lot and then cut it back and a few more coats of lacquer and uh, um, you know just to get that that build up. I, I had a little bit of orange orange peeling going on so I I kinda had to cut it back uh, once or twice and uh, um, but it seemed to work. Um, here you can see I'm, I'm still doing some more uh, drying on this. It's a great little project for uh, you know for any time of year. Might even work well at Thanksgiving for centerpieces, little bud vases hanging around. Uh, give them a shot. They're they're really quick and easy to do. Total time to do this for me was oh probably an hour and a half total, maybe an hour, 50 minutes I think the the filming was. So. Um, most of the time, obviously, here spent with uh, with finishing, so uh, the turning goes pretty quick. Setting up the tool rest again to uh, part off, and I have to readjust the height of the lay, uh, the tool rest there. I part off and drop it in my hand. I'm comfortable doing that. If you're not, get a little uh, pull saw and cut it off. Uh, you know before you uh, you know uh, before you part it off. That's it. Thanks. Uh, well, there you have it, uh, little, uh, little bud vase. These are small. Uh, this is a, uh, well, it's in there pretty good, 13, 30 seconds hole. So just over 3 eighths. I think the uh, test tubes are a little uh, 3 inches long by 3 eighths inch diameter, or just over 3 eighths, so 13, 30 seconds. So it's in there just nice. Of course you don't need to use them without, with the, uh, oops, with the test tube, but uh, it's kind of nice if you got a little, little flower you want to keep wet. Then uh, just a little uh, alcohol based dye, a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, and uh, I just got to finish sanding off the bottom. and. Uh, there you go. Enjoy. Thank you. And uh, appreciate you showing up. So here they are. Um, obviously the new one in the middle. It's a maple on the left that uh, uh, Bob turned. And the little one on the right is an oak one I turned uh, um, about a week and a half to maybe three weeks ago. And uh, hope you liked it. Thanks. Yeah, please... Uh, Please subscribe. Appreciate your time. Take care until next time.